What's your name? Hi, my name is Rigoberto Lua. And what's your major? I'm a history major. Mm -hmm. So how do you like the weather today? It's nice. Um, I like uh, I like it when it's not too sunny. Um, you know, it's not too hot. It's nice and cool. That's why I like to come out here and and read. And what about like, you know, it was raining earlier in, this in the week. Mm -hmm. So, I do. What was your spot? Since it was raining, I assume you weren't in the grass area. Oh well, when it rains, I'm usually at the at the YRL library. Uh, that's usually where I go. I'll I'll get a booth. I'll get a room. Yeah. One of the pods there. It's, that's my alternative. Mm -hmm. And what do you? How, how long do you take to? Um, what's your time? Like, how long do you take here? Do you just stay here like after class or? Before yeah, class? usually I I will come here on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays early in the day. Um, that's usually the best time, like today. And uh, I spend about an hour, two hours. You know, it depends when I get hungry. But usually I'll just read for my class. You know, I have noticed a lot of people, when they try to, try to read here, they seem to get distracted. Do you feel like you get distracted? Um, yeah. For me, uh, just being out in the grass is nice, and I don't pay attention to anybody. I'm usually just reading. I mean, there are times when people will walk by and they'll be loud, but for the most part, I I'm pretty good at just focusing, and, and it's 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 a nice place to read. I like it here. So you don't like like to come here to socialize at all? Like you won't bring your friends here, have a little picnic? No, this is like my. Um, this is like my place where I come to to be by myself. Mm. I see. Um, when you pick a spot, do you try to be far away from people, close to people? Do you have a preference? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Like when you pick a spot on the grass, do you like usually sit near people? Oh no, I try to be more secluded. More secluded? Mm hmm Why is that? Um, like I said, I like to have some privacy and relax as I'm reading. Helps me focus. <laughs> My ideal day would be um, being able to hear the birds chirping. Do you feel like you get that a lot here? Um, <coughs> normally, I uh, I don't, I have, no, 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 not often. Usually I'm in this area right here where there's not really a tree nearby. So like and there's always the people sun. walking, walking by. So like being in the sun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Going back to, um, your space. If someone were to sit close to you, how would you feel about that? Would you move? Um, it just depends how. Would it make you uncomfortable? No. Like, let's say if someone you didn't know would just started sitting like maybe six inches away from you. Well, six inches is pretty close, so I would definitely move, or I would turn around and greet them. See if I know them, but that's usually I would probably move. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, we're talking a half a foot. That's close. Yeah, that's pretty close. <laughs> um. Do you, if a if a random person other than me here, because I just came up to you for an assignment. If they were just starting like small talk, would you try to, since it's your, like you said, it was um, your time to relax and be by yourself, are you willing to keep talking to them? 
or you'd like just want to cut the conversation short and keep doing what you're doing? Um, it does depend um, on where the conversation's going. I mean, I would definitely try to cut it short, but if it's an interesting conversation, I would, I would uh, continue. No, I'm not a, I'm not a unsocial, mm -hmm. you know, but um, it all depends on, on who the person is, what they're talking about, what they want, you know, so, but then um, if it's, if it's just small talk, um, I would probably move, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so your main... Your main reason for uh, coming here to is to study, not necessarily to relax. Or do you feel reading is relaxing? Or yeah, that's. I've always felt reading was relaxing. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a time to just be by be by myself, mm -hmm. read, think, reflect. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's about relaxation as much as it is about learning. Okay, so you said you like to read here, so when you read, what's your normal position? I usually lie down on my side. I mean, it, it, it does depend. I, t I change positions mm -hmm. because it gets tiring sitting in one position mm -hmm. the whole time. So I like to get as comfortable as possible. As you can see, I bring my blanket and mm -hmm. um, some snacks, but normally I, it, it, it depends. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Um, you said you you brought your blanket. Do you bring a pillow? No, um, you know that's a good idea, but I don't bring a pillow. My favorite position is um, being on my stomach with my elbows holding me up, holding the book. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. See, like that. That's that's the best, the most comfortable. But it does get tiring, mm -hmm. so you have to switch positions. And, uh, and yeah. Usually, the way it goes. I've always been doing that since I was younger. Um, I was brought up uh, Catholic, so um, I used to go to the park and just read the Bible. Um, and from there, that's th I think that's where it really comes from my uh, my Catholic upbringing. Um. <coughs> Sorry, I don't really get <laughs> So, so when you were little, that was your favorite position. Yeah. To read it. Yeah. That's usually how I study, on my elbows with my stomach flat on the ground. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That is very interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, do you ever get tired, like sleepy? Because um, I mean, it's a nice day outside. Yes. Yes. Sometimes I actually do take naps. Mm -hmm. I'll, you know, and that's part of the the greatness of it, that um, I'm sitting here reading. And as soon as I get sort of tired, I can just take a nap and mm -hmm. enjoy nature, mm -hmm. the breeze, you know, when I can hear them, the birds chirping, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. And it's very comforting, very relaxing. Yeah. yeah. When the sun does get really hot, do you prefer to go back to the shade or? Um, when it gets really hot, yeah, I usually find a shady spot. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes the sun feels really good. Um. But normally, yeah, I'll, I'll try to find shade. Okay. Um. Okay, so you said you really like the the beauty and the nature of being outside outside right here. Um, do you ever want to capture that, like, in a picture? Um, I do sometimes. I take selfies, just to send to friends, mm -hmm. post online. It's sometimes you get to see some really nice things, especially when you come closer in the afternoon when the sun is setting. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice. And then the uh, the reflection of the light against the buildings looks mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's cool. Also, I do people watch sometimes. Um, when 
when I'm sort of taking a break from reading, I just watch people walk by, mm -hmm. um, people who are sitting across from me or near me, or um, or just enjoy the sights, whatever I can see. There's mm -hmm. a lot of interesting people and things going on here on campus. What are some things that you see um, that really stood out to you? Uh, once uh, I saw this group of, I think they were like ROTC guys, they were running the stairs, that was pretty interesting. Um, and I always see, I can see the, the, the people, the soccer players training down in soccer fields. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you see like, the other day I saw a protest, so that was pretty interesting. Mm, do and you know what the protest was about? I think it was something about like school tuition. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that one. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty interesting. Um, but for the most part, yeah, you see a lot of different kinds of people just walking by. It's it's really it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people come up to you and ask you to interview, just like you. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, you have to do homework, right? Um. Are you okay? You seem a little uncomfortable. Oh, my, my leg falls asleep sometimes. Yeah. Especially when I'm sitting with my legs crossed. So, do you stand up usually to... Um, usually I just stretch, just stretch my legs out. Leg it feels out. funny to stand up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it happens when you're in a certain position for long periods of time. And that is why you feel like shifting positions every time. Yeah. Oh reading yeah. as well, right? Exactly. Cool. Um, back to, uh, the space, personal space, is it with just anyone, or would you, if someone who was maybe the same gender as you, or same race as you, being a little closer than usual, would that make um, you uncomfortable? I don't think it or matters. Um, yeah, it honestly doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. I just like space, mm -hmm. and especially when I'm reading. Um, I want to be by myself, and and uh, it depends. It, mm -hmm. it does depend on how far the person is, or, or how um, how if I can hear them or not. You know, but usually uh, my thing is just to, to I like to be alone, you know, yeah. and relax and read. Has there been a, a time when maybe a person got a little too close? Um, well, one time there was a group of, of people who, who moved nearby where I was, and mm -hmm. they were just chatting it up, so, you know, I'm, I'm not, I mean, people can, can chat it up and have a good time, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just moved. I found a new spot. It's, it's a big lawn, so, mm -hmm. um, no problem with that. I see you're always on this side, which is the bigger side of the lawn, mm -hmm. of the gem steps. Would you ever go to maybe the other side? It's a little smaller. It uh, looks like it's more shady too. No, I like. Well, this is my preferred area. Mhm. Mm yeah, there's, there's usually it's usually not as packed as the other side. Mhm. Mm um, it's pretty nice though. I see people with hammocks. Um, doing all kinds of stuff here. Clubs hang out here. Mhm. Mm but usually this is my favorite area right here. Mhm. Mm the and because I've seen the hammock guy too. Would you want to bring a hammock someday? Oh, that sounds really good. I'm not sure. Um, takes a lot of work to put up a hammock. Maybe. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't thought about that. I mean, you could like sleep more comfortably. I would assume. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But I mean. I'm I'm happy just sitting here, reading and relaxing. Do the grass smells nice. Definitely. Do you bring your lunch? Because you are here for a while, you're here for two hours. Um, I'll bring snacks, like I was mentioning earlier. Um, yeah, just some snacks. I don't bring a whole lunch. A whole meal? I'm usually here for maybe two hours at a time. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't spend the whole day here, so. Usually I'll uh, head back and go get some dinner, go get some lunch, yeah. go get whatever it is. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so you said you usually leave this spot for dinner. Um, do you commute? Do you live here? Oh, no, I live on, on campus. I live in Gardenia. That's the transfer dorms. Um, I usually go to one of the dining halls, like Denev. My favorite's Rendezvous. Mm -hmm. They have a lot really good Chinese food there. Um, but I usually all stay on campus uh, and eat. Um, it's nice. It's 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 a short walk, like fifteen minutes, mm -hmm. to get here from my dorms. Mm -hmm. So and I also have a scooter, mm -hmm. so I get here a little bit quicker. That's good. Um, how do you like living on campus? <coughs> it's it's really nice. It's for one thing. Uh, living on campus is really, um, it's, it's, it's really engaging. There's a lot of activities to do, a lot of clubs you can join, a lot of different groups, a lot of programs. So just that alone is, is great. Um, it's also really practical. Uh, I don't have to have a car, just, I can just walk to classes and, uh, and also have, don't have to cook. The food's already ready for me, and I have different options. So, living on campus so far has been really nice, um, and uh, I'm enjoying it. That's yeah, good. Mm -hmm. So, you think if you were not living on campus and you were commuting, um, you were probably wouldn't have stay. You probably wouldn't stay so late here at the, at the jam set. Uh, I I don't think so. I don't think it would be practical, depending what time. Unless it was traffic hour, then I would probably stay. But yeah, I think I would just go. I mean, there's parks in other places, so I think if I lived off campus, I'd probably just go to a different place and and find my little spot. Because this 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 is something that I do. Mm -hmm. um, even before I started coming to to UCLA. Oh, so you would normally study at parks. Mm hmm. That's interesting. Mm hmm. I also see you have your laptop, so I assume you don't just read here. Do you? What do you do on your laptop? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like having my laptop available. Um, it depends what class I'm studying for, but sometimes I'll have to do a writing assignment or take notes on what I'm reading. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have the laptop here. But sometimes I'll, yeah, I'll watch watch a show or something, just to relax and. I mean, it's 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 just the the idea of being out here is really nice. It's really comfortable, com comforting. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's that's some of those are some of the things I do. I read, I write papers with my laptop, um, or I'll watch videos, anything like that. Or so you know, I'll I'll check my Facebook or Twitter, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. What kind of videos do you watch? Um, usually, I go online on YouTube. And I just watch documentaries, or um, I mean, my favorite documentaries or news article, news videos come from Vice. I don't know if you've heard of that. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like to look up random, random things. Sometimes I'll, I'll look up uh, a professor's lecture, and I'll watch it on YouTube. Um, sometimes professors to put up their lectures. Big, big professors, you know, well known well-sided individuals. Mm -hmm. So from he from UCLA and from other universities? Yeah, from all over. And TED Talks, that, that's something that I watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you feel, since this is more more peaceful type of uh, environment, so you would watch more, you feel like it would be more appropriate to watch documentaries than to watch a Maybe a horror film or an action. <coughs> no, no, film. I just normally don't watch those. Mm. I have a particular taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you said you like uh, watching documentaries, but uh, what kind of books do you read? Do you do read here? Well, I mean, during the quarter, especially right now. I'm reading a lot for school. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, especially for some of my history courses, I have to read a lot of different books and 
in a lot of different uh, different articles. But um, in general, I like to to read a lot of uh, um, books about uh, religion and um, spirituality. Um, also, I've been reading books that are more about uh, uh, disbelief. Uh, for instance, I'm reading this book called um, God Is Not Great by Christopher Hitchens. And it's a pretty interesting book. It talks about um, different aspects of religion. Um, and uh, I also read, uh, I mean, most of my reading is nonfiction. I don't like fiction. I try to stay, um, uh, try to stay in, in within reality. I don't know how to explain, but um, yeah, the last book I read for fun was called uh, Inequality for All. It was by Robert Reich. He talks about the economic inequalities and things like that. Um, but yeah, normally I like to pick up books about large social topics mm -hmm. that um, that are sort of taboo to talk about. And do you feel like you learn a lot? Or what are some things that you learned? Actually? Um, I mean, it's Can it depends from which, which reading. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I mean, you're sort of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> but from the last book I read, uh, there was this interesting part um, in uh, in Meltdown, which is Inequality for All by Robert Reich. It talks about how the in uh, in 1929 um, there was a huge disparity between the rich, the wealthy, and the poor. The top one percent were making 23 percent of income, um, and uh, and that eventually led to the Great Depression and the crash mm -hmm. that same year. Mm -hmm. Well, what we saw later on, if you look at the, at the, if you look at 2008, it was the same sort of dynamic. You had the top 1% making 23% of income, and you had a great um, crash. Um, if you look also at uh, at uh, at 1929, it was it was built around a. a a uh, credit bubble built around a lot of people investing in real estate and buying stocks with credit, which is this, the same thing that happened in 2008, which you had a lot of people um, buying a lot of assets um, in the housing bubble, and then it crashed. So there's a lot of parallels that you can draw from even within uh, the last 70, 80 years mm -hmm. in our societies, and a lot of the same rhetoric from back then you hear now between conservatives and liberals and and the different ideologies. Um, but yeah, those are s some of the things that I've been sort of looking into um, with regards to that book. Okay, so I know you you like to um, sit in the grass area, but uh, there are various ways to get to the to where all the buildings are. Here at UCLA, do you prefer using the jam steps or the the sides? Yeah, I usually take the jam steps up to my classes. Um, yeah, okay. usually I'll take the jam steps. It's easier. I'm already mm -hmm. pretty close to them. Um, it's convenient. Uh, and most of my classes are in that direction, so yeah, I'll take the jam steps mm -hmm. most of the time. And they're iconic, I mean... Who doesn't who doesn't want to climb those things every single day? It's one of the coolest things about UCLA. The stairs. Mhm. Mm I think some people would. Uh, the first time I visited here, I took a picture on them because I was so excited. To be on the jam step. Um, I see a lot of people use the jam steps as a as it a way as a way to work out. For you, is to just. Oh um, no, not not. I don't like to work out on jam steps. Um, if I want to work out, I'll just go to the gym or I'll go on a jog. But I definitely don't do the jam the the jam steps. I mean, I'm not that fit. <laughs> okay. Well, it seems like you really, really enjoy this place. Do you think you'd be coming here often to visit this area um, after you graduate? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, if, if I live nearby here, I will definitely come by, um, you know, bring the dogs, run them, 
Uh, but definitely come here, relax, enjoy the view, read some books. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's definitely something that I would do. Okay, would do you think you would actually exercise on the jazz steps after you graduate? Um, no. No, there's a limit to my madness. Um, I usually will just work out at the gym, like I was telling you, mm -hmm. or just go running. But the jam steps are pretty tough. Um, I mean, yeah, it might it might actually become a goal of mine now that you mention it. Mhm. Mm Conquer those those steps would be nice. Yeah. Because yeah, I do see a lot of people that uh, skip a step on the jam step. Oh yeah. When when I walk, I have long legs, so usually I'll skip a couple steps. And that's a workout within itself, mm -hmm. let me tell you. But definitely, um, yeah, if, if, if in the future I'm a little bit more fit, I think I will come back and do the steps. Um, but it depends, too, where I'm going to be living and how close I will be to UCLA. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see that we're here at the, the middle top area of the hill. Uh, is there a specific reason why you prefer this spot um, over the, the bottom of the hill? Yeah, I think uh, I'd like to be a little bit higher. I think being at the near the bottom would defeat the purpose of being right here. It's, mm -hmm. it's a nice view, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you, that's probably the best part, that it, that it is a nice view. You get the most sun up here. Um, and there's also less people near the top. Um, Sometimes people clump up near the bottom, so that's it's it's just nice being ne next to steps too, because a lot of people walk by here, and I'm always keeping an eye out for even even sometimes I'll see people that I know and mm -hmm. they're going to class and they'll mm -hmm. wave at me or they'll drop by and make small talk. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's near. This is a good spot. I like it. I've been coming here for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it uh, for helping me with my homework. Oh, no, you know, no problem. This is one of the things I like about um, being here because uh, I get people walking by asking me things all the time. And it's pretty interesting. Um, specifically, some, thing, some of the things you asked me uh, really made me think about um, why I come here or what, what does it all mean. You know, but it's uh, it's good. No, no problem. Anytime, anytime you want to talk, let me know. Um, I'm usually around this area, so yeah, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. So is it such a help for my class assignment? Yeah. Is it um? What what's your major? Uh, I'm a sociology major. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. very good. That's very interesting so stuff. That's why I was stalking everyone uh, here. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, and yeah. it's not just for fun. Well, you know, good luck with your project. I hope you get an A. You're definitely very good at asking the right questions. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too.